Okay guys, I had a little bit of a request. I have another one I'll get to later if I have time, but I had a Zeus uh, McAfee on YouTube. He asked, he said, could you show how to make a header in Multifruit? Doesn't even need to have animations, specifically the in-game uh, sunflower header being able to cut wheat. Um, yeah, it's a little goofy. I, I had some workarounds. I just played a little bit with it. So what we'll do is we'll, I went right to the game. Um, and uh, looked under the, the only brand I saw in there. It's just 12,000 here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to start right from scratch. Um, I'm just going to actually take this folder. I don't want to move it. I'm going to copy it over to my mod folder. And I'm simply going to rename FS19 underscore. And we'll just call it underscore mod for right now just to save some time. Um, then... What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get rid of the files we don't need, like we talked about in the when I showed how to, you know, make a mod with just an XML for the starter, um, for people just starting out. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I don't need these image files. I do want to save the store because there is some issues sometimes um, with some people having issues with that um, DDS pulling in with the the data uh, callback. So. We'll just keep the store image and the XML. In fact, we'll go right into it right off the bat. We're just going to call this, we'll just put mod at the end so we know what's a mod. If it gets, gets us confused in the game. Um, the image, we'll just switch this once again to just store. That way it pulls right from the folder. And the way that works is basically wherever you guys have your mod description is where you start your file padding. So that's why I just made it once again store and so on um, and it doesn't matter PNG for some reason giant still has PNG in the XML poll um, if it's a DDS it'll revert to it so file we're just gonna keep the original I3D we're not gonna do any we are gonna have to do some editing but I'll show you how to do that um, and simply we're just gonna what I suggest doing is if you actually go to an in-game grain header so you know that you have for example New Holland um, it's the uh, super flex here if we open him up um, so for example we get into the sunflower if I just hit control F sunflower it takes me right to the fruit types sunflower so it tells me that it's only gonna do sunflower and I know for example from experience we're gonna change this to a type um, a group basically but if I just simply take this hit control F in fact if I take this and I move other view that will help us a little bit then I come over here and then find next for cutter I don't want that one don't want that one we're getting closer um, it's the work areas and you do kind of want to compare that to work areas cutter up here so that's not a big deal um, next 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 so here we go so the cutter so what the grain header is doing is actually using a type category instead of using a fruit type so we can simply just steal this line, if that's what we're doing, stealing, <laughs> and just paste it over to this header here. Um, that's simply going to allow it to, to harvest soybeans, uh, wheat, barley, and so on. Now there's going to be some other issues, and I'll show how to fix that. But another thing we want to do is hit Control Home, and uh, we're going to actually go in. So Cutters is going to be the same. Still Cutters is not like uh, cotton where it puts it in a specific category, so we're still good there. So we're just going to simply save that. Now we do need a mod to script. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply come in and grab one of my other mod descripts. Control C. Oh, where did it go? Right there. I'm just going to paste him in. Now we're going to need that path. So our image file is correct. Open up the mod descript. We'll move this guy to the other view as well. Um, we'll keep him there just for other purposes. Now, once again, for name, we're just going to simply copy that, um, paste it in here. Now, what I do for for version numbers, guys, and this is totally up to you. I, I like it; kind of keeps it crisp for me. It's not as confusing just going 1.0001.3. .0001 what I do is I put the day in here, so 26, the month, which is January year 21 and then this is the version for that day so for example we're at zero zero 
for her to mess around and do some more would go zero one. That's just that's what I do. Um just makes it simpler for me for actually keeping up with my changes. I like the date stamp things. Sorry about my dog drinking water in the back. <laughs> Alright, so um talked about the icon. We can actually just copy I had already copied the file name, but we can come on. Copy from here. Oh, where did you go? So icon file name. Paste that. Multiplayer true. We're not gonna have a specialization, so we can get rid of that. We're not gonna have vehicle type, get rid of that. Um all this tin in we don't need any of that. And then the XML file name, we simply want to come in here and copy that name and paste that there. And we are done with the mod descript. Um, so we'll go ahead and we should not need that anymore. So we can close that. We'll uh, do this to other view again. I guess my dog's going to drink his whole bowl of water. Sorry about that. <laughs> So we're gonna go into the game. I already had, had pra or had uh, messed with this a little bit, so um, it's already bought and on a on a uh, harvester. So, but we can show you where it would pop up. Make sure, and I haven't even checked to see if I had errors either. But um, so you deselect, select all, and start. Um, okay. Come on, game load. Okay. So we're simply just going to go into tools. We're going to go to headers. i scroll all the way over, and right there it is. It's the 12,000 mod. So as you can see down here, now it is barley, wheat, uh, soybean, canola, and so on. I can't remember what all those stand for. Where originally, we find it here. It's just sunflower. So simply bring it up um, I don't see any errors we can search the log file but if we buy that and then we go and just buy a harvester and there it is so no issues so far go ahead and back up and attach it make sure there's no issue there like I said I've already tested this a little bit so First thing we're going to do, because sunflower is actually just cutting the head off, as you can see, when you lower that, it's, it's way too high. So we're going to go back into the XML, and we're going to go to the, I think it's in the attachment area, but i got to find it here. Yeah, here we go. So on the upper, it's going to 2.7. On the lower, it's, it's 0.75. So if we drop this to like... 0.25, hit save. Ah, I'm on the wrong one. Control Z. Control Z. So actually, that's what we probably want to steal. So distance to ground, Control F. So we can copy that. Ah, I guess it is 0.75, but this is a little different um, setup. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be lower. Now I'm just going to put 0.28 in there and hit. So I just basically uh, probably overwrote my uh, game <laughs> file, but we can fix that later, no big deal. So we saved that at 0.28, so now when I hit, uh, and I'm using uh, easy dev controls off of mod, mod hub guys, it's very handy. So I can come to this vehicle and I can just reload the vehicle and the changes come into effect. As you can see, now we're a lot closer to the ground. So height wise, it's still far enough up but when I lower it it's right there you know and, and this can be changed like I said if you want it to be you know 0.02 and you'll see how much of a difference it's in it's probably gonna hit the ground um, do that the reload vehicle as you can see it's it's scraping the ground now so you don't really want that because that's gonna cause you some issues if you have any kind of hills so We'll just stick with the lazy point two eight for now. I'm happy with that. Um, back to the game. And what we'll do is we'll uh, 
this one I had already bought, like I talked about. I'm gonna have to probably reload this one because it was sitting out there. So, as you can see, it's a lot closer to the ground. But right off the bat, we're gonna see. Uh, do this quick. Shut off the monitor, capture, so we don't have any jerking going on. So when I, I go in, as you can see, we already have a little bit of a goofy thing going on. See how the in the center there, it's it's rotating. Uh, it's it's the particle effect. It's the center particle particle effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to cheat a little bit here. Let's go back to monitor capture. I'm going to go in and I'm going to open um, this guy up in the game. So New Holland, I want the cat. And so, and so, and so. So, what we'll do is we look right into here, go to visual, we're looking for the effects, that center effect. So, effect center, it's shown it rotated at, at a, a negative 180, I think I want to be like 90. See, it goes to the side instead of being straight out and this just has to do with the effects on on sunflower like I said depending on the header you would or wouldn't have to do this but so what I want to do is I want to change that node so I'm gonna cheat a little bit here uh, I show on some of my XML videos how you can change things well what's cool about this is I can actually do it in the input attacher so what I can do is I can actually have to find an object change I'm gonna copy object change so let's see I know the uh, some of the vehicles I know for example the quad track does some object change so there's an object change right there so we're just going to simply grab that line control C come in here it just keeps me from having to, to type a lot now we want um, we want center Effect. No, it's I had spelled wrong. Center effect. Come on now, what am I doing wrong? Center. Effect center. That, that would do it. Control C. Um, go back up. Let's type in object. Uh, move to other view. So I actually done it again. I started to grab Okay, well I could have stole object change in there. Anyway, talking to myself. Uh I'm not really sure where I put the I got the rattling on here. Yeah, I put it in there. We better just close that out before I mess it up anymore. I'm gonna have to do a relook. All right, so input attach a joint. Sorry about all the riff right here. I'm a little rusty, I guess. Now I don't want the object change node. I want the center effect. So effect center control C object change we're gonna go that node so what that's gonna do sorry I'm blabbing on here and I explain what I'm doing it's actually gonna take effect center and we're gonna change I'm gonna go rotation active rotation active so as soon as this thing attaches it's gonna rotate what I tell it to do so um, we basically want it to be 0 90 0 so I simply put in basically it's your x y zero and so I want zero ninety zero so when I hit save come back I'm just going to reset this vehicle now when we start to harvest as you can see now it's not out in front straight ahead in fact it's hard to see because the header is so close to the ground now um, it's actually too far in front it's, it's hard to see it's way out there in front see it on the screen um, happens, there you go okay. now you can kind of see see how it's way out in front so we're just basically gonna move that back on the z-axis so once again we're gonna come up here we're gonna look so right now it's at 2.579 well if I move it back 
the lower the number goes. So I want to copy those numbers. So I hit Shift Control C. So I copy the zero, the negative three, five, and the one. Um, I'm going to come back into here, and I'm going to go ahead and paste them numbers in. So I have them. I'm going to grab this again. Paste that in. We're going to go translation active. And we're going to actually take these numbers, cut them out, I'm going to paste them in. I want to move the Z back a little bit more, so let's go like to 1. And O, and hit save. Hit F11, reload the vehicle. Go ahead and fire it up. And you can see now it's starting to actually, it looks like we're running in into the crop and actually pushing it forward. We want it to roll back. So all we need to do is basically just rotate this on 180 degrees. So if I just hit a negative 90 and I hit save, go back to the game, reload the vehicle. And now I'm going to take off. Now you can see it's actually rolling back into the header. So it's not perfect. You can see it underneath there, but this is better than just having it not have any effects at all because I could disable that effect and it would look very odd because everything would just start disappearing. But as a start, like I said, you guys can always play with that and do whatever you want with it. I mean, you could say, well, I want the roll forward or whatever. And like I said, this isn't real realistic because you don't have a reel in there, but this will do what uh, the Zeus was wanting to do. Um, that's what he was asking about now. You could also, I could turn around and I could say, okay, instead of doing a, um, cutter, cutter, instead of doing grain header, I could turn around and say, well, I want to do, if we go into case, I'm trying to think of what the headers are. That's a draper. Want that? Well, simply do this. Let's go to purchase here. Well, actually, it's the same brand. Actually, it's the uh, Capella there. So, if I look at data vehicles, I know. For example, I think that was the one I was picking. And let's go cutter, cutter. So. Fruit type categories, maize header. So since it's using category, I can simply just grab this, control C, and I can just put a space in there and control V. So now it'll do both. So if I hit save, now it's probably going to throw off that center effect. Um, that's the only bad thing about doing that is I think it's going to throw off our center effect now. But we we'll go to corn, let that grow. Didn't, so didn't know what this simple was doing that. So I got to oh, I know what's wrong with 11. I'll shut that off, switch to the head. I need to switch away from it. I need to empty it because it has weed in it. Now, yeah, see how, so the only difference is, is now it's going to throw that effect off. So you'd have to turn around and you have to flip that effect the other way and, and so on. Um, Effect. So I go control home. So if we switch this back to a negative, in fact, you could actually control Q, save. Alright, so now, yeah, I'd have to recenter because it's way out. And behind now so actually <laughs> it's probably going to be the it's probably going to be back to default so same thing if I hit it and I'm hitting control Q there when I do that guys to strike them out so it just cancels them if you're not familiar with that move and so there you go so like I said that so that makes it so you can actually do maze with this uh, header if you want but it's just just different things like I said it's not real realistic. I've actually got a header that does grass, corn, everything. Um, 
So it even does like the particle kind so it's kind of cool. But it's a uh, wasn't real short video, but that just shows you how you can do that. Um, and that's basically using the uh, object changes and the rotations and stuff as well. So you get to learn a little more other things. But that's that. Like I said, the biggest thing about sunflower is um, do that is it just uses a fruit type instead of a category. So the nice thing about the grain headers and the maize headers is their types um, are actual categories so you can just change and add things in. Like I said, I've even made a header that actually does cotton. I'd do a little more manipulating there. I'd actually had to use global company script so that copper or uh, cotton could be put into tippers and pipe effects and everything was working as well. But uh Hope that was helpful to, to Zeus, or if anyone else is interested in doing that, I'm going to post this on YouTube. Uh, any comments, let me know. If you have any questions, guys, thanks.